Yes. Have you seen them since? People no, are against the war. Yeah. Yes, they are. And, and, hey, how you doing? And your name? I'm Martha Schmidt. I'm an attorney here in Seattle. Well, good. Man. Yeah, Maybe I'll need your in service. The international rule of law. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. It was it was amazing what they did in D.C. on on the 16th. They went in. They overran the uh, the Venezuelan embassy, and they were completely in violation of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. And they don't give a damn. Yes, we have a problem. We have a big problem. It's not only that convention, but of course that applied there at the embassy. But all along, what the U.S. has been doing in terms of the unilateral coercive measures, otherwise known as the sanctions against Venezuela, which are violated, bullshit anyway, have violated the U.N. Charter, the OAS Charter. They, they, and the consequences of what we've done in against Venezuela have resulted in so much suffering and violations of human rights and humanitarian law. So it's, you know, it's a huge, it's a huge problem, and it's not only Venezuela, obviously, but it's just, it's been so intentional and for such a long time. Did you, you know that recent um, report that came out in April that was written by uh, the economist Mark Weisbrot? No, I haven't heard about that. So they um, looked at the economic sanctions against Venezuela from the standpoint of um, the impacts, you know, the humanitarian impact, and their estimate is that at least more than 40,000 people died as a result of the sanctions in one year. Wow. Yeah. 40,000? 40, 40,000 Venezuelans. Starved to death, basically? Yeah, there's a, uh, also, the embargo on medicine, yeah, and there's just, it, it's had, you know, it's just been going on since, basically since Chavez was elected. There have been U.S. measures to try to bring Venezuela to their knees, but it's much um, increased, you know, in the last, since Obama did the executive order and Congress passed um, a law to uh, it allow sanctions. Yeah, it's not about Democrats or Republicans. No, it's, it, it's, it, it's about it's truth, our, propaganda, and the oligarchy. Exactly. It's our it's our national problem. It's our problem. It is. It's not Venezuela's problem. It's our problem. It's not mismanagement. It's our creating a uh, humanitarian disaster. And I might add, you know, this is also going to result in many, many more people migrating from Venezuela. All this talk about, you know, um, caring about migration and people being displaced, what, it, what we're doing is just placing more people from their homes. Just like we've done in the Middle East and the Europe's now got the... Or in Honduras, you know, with yeah. support for the coup there. Uh, right. and, just what's happened in Colombia, the country next door to Venezuela, you know, with the Civil War. There's more than, that has over six million refugees. Wow. Yeah, so that's one of the largest migrations of refugees internally and externally in the world already in our hemisphere, you know. And what was your, what was your name again? Martha Schmidt. Okay, uh, are you part of the group or are you just here? Um, I'm actually a member of the National Lawyers Guild. Okay. And All right. Do you have a Do you have a website where people can connect with you? Um, I have. I do. Yeah. Can we Can we have that? Would you like that out there? Uh, or they can. Uh, it would be better if people actually visited the National Lawyers Guild International Committee website. And what's What's NLG that URL? NLG.org. NLG.org. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, Thank hey, you. we all need to connect, and we all need to get together. Because Absolutely. decisions are made by people that show up and demand change. We need to do that. That's that's what we have to do. Yeah. All right, nice to meet you. Give me vibe, Martha. All right, very good. <laughs>